Hello everyone, today we are focusing on Cambridge IGCSE Mathematics, topic of number, subtopic, earning, simple and compound interest. So to begin with, we are going to look at profit and interest, so basically profit and loss percentages. So we are aware that percentages is basically a number that can be expressed as a fraction of 100, right? Percent meaning 100. Um, so let's look at this example. A television set was bought for $3,900, $200 was spent on transportation and $900 on repair. It was sold at a loss of 10%. Find the selling price of the television. Okay, so basically um, the first thing is to find out the total cost, right? So 3,900 was the actual buying price plus the transportation, plus the repair. So altogether, they have spent $5,000 to buy this television. So from that, it says that they have lost uh, 10%. So the 10% loss we can calculate as 10 over 100 times 5,000, and that will result in 500. So we know that we have made a loss of $500. And so the selling price of the television will therefore be 5,000, take away 500, which is $4,500. Working backwards, so this is reverse percentages. So basically, earlier we were trying to find the price after a particular uh, discount or a sale or a loss, right? Here, we're trying to work backwards. So if the sale price was this much or the gain price was this much, how much was the original? And uh, let's have a look at an example. So a bed sheet was sold for 483, thereby gaining 15%. So that is basically this 483 is with the 15% profit. So we want to find the cost price of the bed sheet. What was the original um, beforehand? So if this is the percentage with the profit, that means this total percentage that we have here is 115%. So what we do is unlike earlier when we were multiplying by the percentage over 100, here you have to multiply by 100 over the percentage. So that is 100 over 115. And um, when you simplify that, you get $420. And here's a bit of um, calculator tips for the day. So this is how you can enter um, fractions and percentages, etc. into your calculator. So coming to simple interest. So simple interest is a common thing we find uh, when we are investing money. So how do we find simple interest? There's a basic um, formula that you need to know. So simple interest is equal to the principal amount times the time times the rate over 100. So principal being how much um, you initially invest. So if you look at the example below, you can see that they are depositing 6,200, 6% interest rate, and we're looking at 2.5 years as the time, right? Um, so therefore, using the formula, that is simply just 6,200 times 2.5 years times 6 over 100 okay and this uh, then gives us that the simple interest is 930 dollars just keep in mind that this amount here is um, basically just the interest right so if you were asked to find out the total amount of money that they have at the end of this period then that will be the 6200 plus the 930 Moving on, the next thing is compound interest. So compound interest is when you earn interest on both the money you've saved and the interest you earn. Okay, so how do we do that? That is total amount is equal to principal open bracket one plus rate over 100 to the power of time. Okay, so if we look at the example, a teacher wants to invest 30,000 into an account that compounds annually. The interest rate at this bank is 1.8%. How much money will be in the account after six years? So we simply substitute in the rate as 1.8 times six years and principal as 30,000. You might need to break it down for your calculator here. So first doing this 
then adding it to 1 to get the value of 1.018 and then doing the power value and then multiplying it into 30,000 which then results in this final amount. And that brings us to the end of this lesson. All right, so let's finish off with some questions. John invests $320 at a rate of 4% compound interest. Calculate the total amount John has after three years. Okay, so sim this is simply just plugging into the formula. So 320 is the principal amount, rate is four, and we're going to put this over 100 to the power of three. So this is going to be 320 times 1.04 to the power of three. And this gives me an answer of 359.9. So I'm going to take that as 360 um, dollars. Moving on, what is the profit obtained when a dress bought for $150 is sold for $185? So it's a simple matter of subtracting um, and we can see that that should be $35 profit. And the next one is 650 at a rate of 3.5% simple interest. So simple interest is just a matter of multiplying everything together. So I'm going to multiply six years and this I'm going to divide by 100. So this results in 136.5. However, the question is asking for the total amount. So that is going to be 650 plus the 136.5. And this then results in 786.5, which is option number two. And that brings us to the end of today's session.